It's RC. I'm back. I have a wonderful video about marriage boot camp. Waka and Tammy tied the knot part one. Hashtag hip hop boot camp. Um, it was an amazing episode. I love Waka's mom. I didn't really know too much of Tammy's mom, so it was nice to see the family join together. You know what's up. Um, when family come together, you know, might be some arguments, might be some hugs and kisses. <laughs> um, well, let's start. Uh, so Waka and Tammy are married, Mr. and Mrs. Um, but they never actually had like a, you know, a wedding wedding. They just kind of, um, Waka went through an uh, unfortunate situation. I remember when his brother died. Um, or committed suicide um, you know I cried about that 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 was just a sensitive subject to me um, and uh, I did not realize I know soon after he married Tammy but I didn't realize it's like he came through some understanding some you know hidden thought process like oh my goodness like I'm losing people I love. Like, let me go ahead and do the god darn thing, right? So, he married Tammy soon after his loss of his uh, second brother. But um, they n didn't do it, you know, the big way. They kind of just, you know, signed a paper and was in front of the, you know, the official and witness, and that's it. Um, so Tammy had told Waka if. Um, five years ago, if um, they make it to five years, then she wants her dream wedding. And that's okay. Why not just say renewing of the vows? That's what people do like every 10 years. Every yeah, Couples are different. But some couples, every 10 years, they renew their vows or every 20 years or whatever. Um, so she could have just called it that, but whatever. However she want to phrase it. So that's what this is all about. They coming together after marriage boot camp has just wrapped. Um, and they plan in their wedding. Looks like a beautiful wedding soon to be on TV. In real life, it's obviously already happened. So can't wait for the drums. So Tammy's mom wants certain things her way. And um, her mother-in-law, Deb, you know, wants some say-so as well. Um, all I can say is good luck. Buenas suetas, Tammy and Walker. The phone call from Dr. Ish. What's up, Dr. Ish? It was good to see him. Um, I personally wanted to know where they're going to you know, do an update with the, the the previous show they were on. I mean, technically, this is the same show, but it's like a different episode. It's like a special, you know, after the show. Uh, Marriage Boot Camp, Reality Stars, Hip Hop Edition. And it was wonderful to see Dr. Ish, you know, just kind of witnessing their little bickering, you know, typical couple bickers. It's like, I hate when people feel like, oh, somebody's bickering. I mean, <clears throat> They don't love each other or something. No, there's normal, you know, disagreements. We're not meant to be robots to each other. <coughs> so, Dr. Ish, you know, was just catching up on them and how they're doing. And they seem to be, you know, still in love, still wanting to get married. And not married, I'm sorry about that. They're already married, still wanting to renew their vows. And um, he also hit them with a homework assignment. And, and, and Tammy was like, hey, man, I ain't calling for the homework assignment. <laughs> Tammy's just too real. Me, I would have just made my little face and listened. That's how I roll. I'm more of an internal person. I'm not going to voice everything. If It, it, it kind of seems that way because, you know, I'm doing YouTube, so I have to voice something. You know what I mean? But 
in my personal life like I voice some things but some things I keep it internal I'm not that person to just say everything I'm thinking but Tammy kind of is um and so he gives him this homework assignment called love L U V listen understand and value listen pretty simple you know I tend to have issues with that it's so weird because I I would think I don't but sometimes I'm not a great listener and sometimes I'm an amazing listener you gotta listen to your partner vice versa (coughs) also understand I've heard this phrase where someone say are you listening to understand or are you listening to reply Listen to understand. Understand your partner, who they are. Understand um, what they are trying to say, what they are saying. You know, understand their actions and understand your partner and understand what they're saying. Very simple. Value. Now, do you value the person that you're in a relationship with, that you're dating? Or are you taking them for granted? So I think that's where value comes from. Um, Value is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, understand, value, L-U-V. Dr. Isha, what is good? (laughs) Tammy and Walker was in the kitchen and they mentioned um, fasting. They were talking about keto fasting, which is K-E-T-O fasting. And that is becoming the new healthy trend of losing weight. And it's something that I know other people are doing. It's something I'm considering. I'm definitely uh, eating less than I would because um, for me personally, my stress, one of my stress reliefs were to overeat. In the end, what did that do for me? Nothing. But give me, you know weight gain um so I'm not used to having weight believe it or not some people know me to have weight because they don't know me most of my life I started gaining weight I would say probably middle school but it was so minuscule you couldn't really see it so I just got a little thicker if you see my middle school pictures I'm just perfectly thick so I just got a little thicker in the thighs you know um but where I really started gaining weight where I started having a belly and stuff was somewhere in high school and um it just got worse from there because it's like the more I had uh personal life issues like family issues friendship issues relationship woes you know what I'm talking about I got I got engaged my first engagement was out when I was 19 you know what I'm saying I moved in with the person it's the first time I ever moved out of my parents house so um and then I went through abuse and a bunch of other stuff. So I turned to food. I didn't drink. I didn't do uh, drugs. I just turned to food. So even now, I'm I'm very, like, particular. I know potato is a weakness, blah, 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 blah. You're not here about keto or me. But it's just important for me to mention that just because keto is something that can help me in my situation i'm trying to eat less you eat less on keto i'm trying to be healthy keto is healthy so i'm just trying to show you you know for those who are suffering with eating addictions and eating issues whether it's overeating and stuff like that um i can relate and uh you know tammy and walker look fine but i understand they want to lose a couple pounds and i wish them all the best (laughs) <laughs> on their weight loss journey. Tammy's dad cannot, unfortunately, make it to the wedding, so her mom wants to walk her down the aisle. What will happen next week? That's what I've been contemplating. Um, I've been thinking about that because I'm like, I know Tammy feels like, nah, mom, I don't want you to walk me down the aisle. You know, that's a job for my dad and I promised my dad that if he can't walk me down the aisle then nobody will so what do y'all think about that that's something else I don't think I want my mom to walk me down the aisle if my daddy wasn't alive that would be kind of weird 
Dev and Tammy's mom. I didn't realize how close they were. I, I just think it's so cute to see the moms getting along. You know, we see all these stories with other moms who don't really get along like that. So this is this is great. And they have this little thing where they call each other mother, sister in law. It's just so cute. Shout out to Dub and Tam's mom. Two queens. Two queens right there. Tammy's daughter, Charlie. The beautiful young princess. She's full of energy like a young child should be. And she's so smart and beautiful. Um, She wants a wedding dress. That's what she told her stepdaddy, Waka. I want a wedding dress, and I want a reception dress. And I was like, okay, little girl, <laughs> slow down now. <laughs> but what she doesn't know, that Waka's plan to surprise her on the wedding day with her own ring. So cute. So cute. I, I love Waka's and Charlie's relationship. They they have, I've seen it on the Love and Hip Hop series and and other, you know, places on the internet. And they're just so adorably cute together. Um, he makes her a better man, and I love that. The bachelorette party, um, you know, the peep show uh, seemed to be fun for Tammy. And Tammy's family had fun. I think Deb was there and her mom and... And, you know, they were all just having a good good old time, you know. And nothing inappropriate. But Walker at his bachelor party, eh, he wasn't really feeling the strippers at first. And then he was dancing with them. And then he sat down. And then he couldn't stop thinking about if men were dancing for his wife. If they had, like, baby oil. And I was like, what is he thinking? It was cute. You know, he just loves this woman. And he never really... His eyes never really wondered. Um, a true gentleman. You know. He's changed, ladies. He's changed. It's about that time. Now go ahead. Like it says on the top. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um... Let's start with the question for the substers. Become a substance today. It's free, y'all. Um, first question. Do you think Tammy was wrong when she said the word tasteful? <laughs> it, when she was describing why she chose to have a professional wedding planner instead of her mom and mom-in-law. And she was like, well, I just wanted it to be tasteful. And I wanted to relieve stress from you guys. And... And that you know, Deb was not having it. Deb was like, "Wait a minute, wait, wait hold up." You know, the Deb's favorite word is "hold up," y'all. I love her. <laughs> hold up, hold up. You say we don't have taste, girl. <laughs> I really don't think that's what she meant. It just sounded really, 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 really bad. It didn't sound good at all. Number two, ladies, are you okay with your guy being at a strip club with and? Or without you, leave it down below in the comment section. I need to get that comment section popping. I know with more views, more people, it will. But I need. I want to interact. I want to interact. That's one of the the fun things of YouTube is interacting down in the comments. And the comments are looking stale. I think I might start um, doing something different with the comments down below. So to kind of get you guys entice you guys to come on and join in and let's go back and forth let's say something to each other um but you gotta first subscribe hit the notification and i'm out